I beat the Moon Lord with a copper short sword. That's dumb. And this is Terraria's hardest MLG. But why are you doing this? Because I'm gonna do Terraria's dumbest and most insane challenges. This first challenge involves beating a slime with a copper short sword. Bruh. That's easy. King slime. Still sounds easy. No. Nope. For this challenge, I allowed myself a rod of discord and an ice rod to help with minions. The copper short sword makes this man take no damage. He does like a really high jump and then a really short jump. Low. Hi. Now he's gonna teleport to me. Oh yeah. I wish you could fit into area like you would in Minecraft. Just jump. And you, as you can tell, this challenge was super duper long. Beating King Slime with a copper short sword takes a huge amount of oh, time. Oh, I got him stuck there. Please. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness, go! That was the King Slime fight. Imagine how hard the Moon Lord fight's gonna be. The Eye of Cthulhu? What's going on? This next challenge is dumber than the previous one. Every 10 seconds, a new boss will spawn, and you gotta try and survive as long as you can. I can do this. A few moments later. I can't do this! What is this? What is this? Thomas, this is, this is, this is stupid. Can I make it to Moon Lord? Oh my goodness. If I make it to 130, I'm legally skilled and you should subscribe. No, no, no. All right, keep this up here. Okay. What is this? Oh my god. I gotta spawn the next one. I, I actually can't. I actually can't. I actually can't. I actually can't. That's it. I made it to Duke Fish Run. Any of you make it to Moon Lord doing this? I commend you. So I survived till 1 minute and 52 seconds. But is he better than Dream? Now at the bottom of this huge hole is a chest. And inside this chest is a single rope. I gotta get the rope while falling and clutch on the side of this stone wall here. This is genuinely the hardest clutch I've ever seen in Terraria. Oh, no way you can do this. Oh, man. All right, let's go again. Let's go again. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I have to get ready. I have to get ready for it. I have to be ready for it. Just bang straight into my inventory. Ready? Ready, 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 ready. ready? Bang. Yo. Oh! oh! Bro, no way you just did that. <laughs> Yo! Oh my goodness! Okay, to be fair, my cursor was already there on the on the slot, to be fair. But still, I mean, that was epic. If I did not know where the rope was, like where that chest was, I would not have been able to clutch, 100%. That's why this is the hardest clutch in Terraria. Can you be in expert mode I have to Cthulhu without touching the AOD keys? What? No way! Because I can't move, the first thing I'm gonna do is gear up. So the plan is to grapple like this. Hopefully he doesn't come too close. To There's no way you can possibly win this. Was that true? Had all my chances of winning this challenge been impossible? You see, the reason I'm doing these challenges at all is because apparently I suck at Terraria, so if I can't do them, I'll be forever doomed to being a noob. Come on. How has it not started dashing at me yet? Oh, there we go. 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 Calm down. Are you leaving? Oh, come on! You suck. Well, the eye of Cthulhu left. Now he's mad. Now he's just straight up mad. Calm down. Oh, no! I'm missing all my shots! Oh my god, there's not a single moment of silence! Peace! Ooh, this guy is so mad. Oh god! Oh my, after literally ages, I finally managed to defeat this guy. Oh god, calm down. Calm down. Oh my goodness. Quick question, have you ever fought the eater of worlds? Does he actually eat worlds? No. Why? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, it's just tearing through the world. While fighting this guy, he actually broke three shadow orbs and <laughs> summoned another Eater of Worlds. So now I had two Eater of Worlds coming at me. This is chaos. Did they despawn? Oh, are they going away? Oh, look at the map though. Look at it. Okay, here we go again. Let's do this. Let's go. This is the ocean biome before, and this is the ocean biome after. What is wrong with me? Why do I do this? I think it's safe to say the ocean is slowly turning into a puddle. The Eater of Worlds destroyed this place. But speaking of destroy... Oh crap. 
Oh crap, this is the wrong bus music. The Eater of Worlds was bad, but the Destroyer isn't just bad. It has lasers. What the heck? I eventually had to move out of the ocean because the drones were just swarming me. After ages, I finally beat the Destroyer. God, that was crazy. But not as crazy as this next challenge coming up. Now, everyone's wondered at some point in the game how the worst weapon in Terraria would do against the hardest boss in the game. Is it time? It's time. This isn't the dumbest challenge, trust me, there are dumber yet to come. So here's where the absolutely fatal flaw comes into play for this challenge. The Moon Lord has a quote unquote moon bite, and if it latches onto you for even a little bit of time, it will regenerate a thousand health for the Moon Lord. Considering my Copper Shore Sword barely does one single damage to the Moon Lord, this challenge becomes... Yeah. Wait, so that's it? Hell no. If I turn God Mode on, I can fully focus on actually beating this guy with a Copper Short Sword. I tried every other legit method I could to beat this guy, but otherwise this challenge is pretty much impossible. What you just saw is about 5 minutes worth of real life footage. This challenge, if you couldn't guess already, is gonna take pretty long. This fight was genuinely the biggest time waste I think I've ever had in my life, except for this video right here. Not only was the Moon Lord a tanky son of a whatever he is, but the Copper Short Sword does no goddamn damage. Do not try this challenge at home if you want to keep your sanity. Seriously. Oh my god! Let's go! Now, this is Mortimer the Merchant, and he's in a house that's rigged to blow up. The person that did this says that he needs me to pay up 100 Terra Prismas in under 2 hours in order to save his life. You know what we need to do, boys. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Crap! Okay, I haven't seen a tutorial on how to beat this thing in the day yet, but time's rapidly running out. I gotta fight this lady a hundred times already. Let's go! Oh my... 90 more to go, boys. Oh, man. The more I fought the Empress, the more I started to recognize the attack patterns she had. I started winning more fights more easily, and soon I knew I could do this. Oh, come on! I was in the middle of a speech there. Let's go! Look at all these Terra Prismas! Man, I only need three more! Two more to go! Come on, two minutes left! Surely I got this! Oh my- what the- Yes! I did it! That's a hundred! Wait, is that time? No! Mortimer, no! This isn't canon, right? Uh, I'll let the viewers decide. Anyway, if you want to see how crazy rare some items in Terraria can get and how quickly I can speedrun them with dream luck, then click this video here. I'm gonna leave before the cops catch me.